is this thing on hi guys hello if you're new here welcome to my channel today we're gonna be doing a vlog style get ready with me i have to run a few errands i have new makeup products and i thought it'd be a perfect time to do some makeup and give you guys some life updates chat with you guys a little bit and tell you guys what's been going on and where i've been so that's what we're doing today but before we get into today's video i want to go ahead and take a moment and talk about today's partner which is the company dossier you guys know that i work with them in the past and i share with you guys some of my favorite fragrances and today i'm going to share another fragrance that i discovered and it smells so good so for those of you who are unaware who dossier is and what they do they are a luxury perfume inspired brand so they create perfumes inspired by some of your favorite brands like YSL, Gucci, Chanel, Lila Boo, Jo Malone, Baccarat 540 they have it all and it's only a fraction of the cost it is $29 and I'm gonna show you the fragrance that I got today but we're gonna get into that a little bit later just because I want to do my makeup and make you guys work for this fragrance tip that I'm gonna give you if you guys want to see more of dossier and what I chose this time around be sure to stick around give this video a thumbs up and let's hop into the makeup video so I went ahead and did my hair and my brows off camera. My brows take me forever and um, I was doing them off camera. So yeah, and I thought I was recording my hair, but I wasn't clearly because it's not in this video. Primer I'm gonna be using today is the Fenty Hydrating Primer. You guys know I love this primer so much. It's my tried and true. I always go back to it. I just think it makes my face and my makeup look so natural and just smooth and seamless and just skin-like. I would highly recommend if you're in the market for a primer to try this one out even if you have oily skin combination skin because I have combination oily skin and it works amazing and I love it on top of that I'm gonna go in with the YSL blur primer which is also another one of my faves a little bit goes a long way so be mindful of that because sometimes I use too much and I end up wasting it because my face isn't that big and this stuff really really spreads Okay, so speaking of my brows taking me forever, I recently decided to take the leap and go ahead and book an appointment to get microblading, which I'm really excited about, but I'm also nervous about it. I'm excited, but I'm also nervous. I don't know how my pain level and my pain tolerance is. I've never really had like any major surgeries or like tattoos or anything like that. So. My pain tolerance isn't that high. I just have my ears pierced and I have my belly button pierced. So we'll see. But I think beauty is pain sometimes. So you just got to do what you got to do. I know I'm going to love the results. I found a really good place. I am going to be um, vlogging the experience. So make sure your post notifications are on for that vlog. And you guys are subscribed so you don't miss any of my videos. So for the new product that I'm trying out today, this is the NARS Matte Foundation that they just came out with not too long ago. I'm in the shade... Maria, so it's M O O R E A. I think that's how you say it. I'm in the shade Maria, and I've never used this foundation, but I'm excited to try it out because I actually picked up the not the sheer glow, but the what is it, luminous silk? I want to say maybe it's a luminous silk. I don't know but I hated it the color was terrible just didn't like the consistency of the overall foundation and I ended up taking it back and picking out this foundation and hopefully I like this one I've seen and heard really really great things about it so we shall see if I like it so I haven't been posting as consistently as I had been posting um, last year but I'm trying to change that and get back into the swing of things just needed a little mental break sometimes you know my mental health just needs to come first I just feel like I get overwhelmed and sometimes I feel like I'm not doing enough um, and I'm using an, an elf sponge to blend this in uh, yeah and it's nothing like going on in my life or anything just sometimes I get overwhelmed and I am a little hard on myself so I want to take a break but I feel good I've been planning lots and lots of videos and lots of content and I have lots of ideas on what I want to do on my channel this is a little yellowish let's let's keep blending and see what happens because it might not be but anyway I'm really excited for the microblading I'm going to go in for a consultation sometime next week I'm also going to be doing another peel um, 
coming this week. I think I'm going to do it this week or maybe next week. I will be vlogging that. You guys really loved, um, you guys really loved my first peel video that I did. Like, it's one of my most viewed videos on my channel. So I decided to go ahead and do another one. Plus, it, plus it's time. And, um. I've also been getting back into vlogging and just kind of falling in love with YouTube a little bit all over again. Okay, so for concealer, we're going to be using the Too Faced Bornsway Concealer in the Shade Cookie. I'm going to put some here and here. Another new product I'm trying out is the Milk Makeup Stick, like the foundation sticks. And I actually tried these before, like, just to blend out my contour, and they blend out so freaking smooth. Um, I've so far on with the foundation, I might have got been able to get, like, a shade, maybe a shade brighter, just one shade, nothing too crazy. Um, I'm really excited for the next coming weeks, though. I have so many video ideas and so many things I want to do. I'm very unorganized, and I haven't done my makeup in a long time, so I'm a little rusty. <laughs> Tell me if I'm the only person who does, like, if you don't do your makeup for a while, like, a week, a couple days, two weeks, whatever the case is, when you do your makeup for the first time, are you rusty or is that just me? Because sometimes I, I swear I forget how to do makeup. <laughs> I'm going to just blend this out with the brush. Um, also, we are approaching 2K very fast. Like, 2K is coming up. I'm really excited. I want to try to hit 2k before the end of February so please make sure you are subscribed it's free it's down below it takes two seconds you're already watching the video so why not subscribe to the channel and join the team let's blend out this nose highlight Also today I am having a full on film day after I run my hair, so I'm gonna come back and film another video. And I'm just really getting back into the swing of things. I kind of want to have my channel be a place where I can create all types of different content. I really have been loving, loving fashion lately, just doing like hauls. You guys seem to really love those types of videos on my channel rather than like my makeup. Makeup will always be my first love, so I'm going to continue to post like makeup here and there, but I will be changing my channel around and posting more like fashion lifestyle content because you guys really react well to that so I want to make sure to incorporate what you guys like what I like and then it'll be a fair playing field for both of us I love makeup and I'll always be like my first true love but I really love just like like lifestyle type content where I'm doing vlogs I'm doing what I eat in a day you guys really like those so I've really been studying my channel Paying attention to what you guys like um, I'm gonna take the same contour stick and contour my nose a little bit um, nothing too crazy I can't find my brush that I normally use so hopefully my nose contour comes out good today we are going to hope for the best and then I'm gonna just take this little fluffy brush and contour. Okay, I went ahead and blended out that second layer of concealer. Pretty sure you guys don't want to see me blend out my concealer again. Never tried this. This is the Rare Beauty Liquid Dewy Blush. And it's in the shade Peach. No, I'm lying. It's in the shade Joy. And I'm going to try a little bit. Someone told me that a little bit goes a long way. So I'm going to just do like, little, like a little dab. And then use the end of the, the Beauty Blender. So far, so good. I'm gonna use my trusty dusty Laura Mercier setting powder to set everything into place.
pressing into the skin and one thing i like about this foundation it literally dries itself down like my face doesn't feel wet at all like it literally pretty much set itself i didn't set any powder and i don't look oily also i don't know i've been just looking at my channel i'm really excited to see the growth and even though i haven't been posting consistently you guys have still been subscribing to my channel watching my videos and still supporting me so that makes me happy so thank you appreciate it just mess that off also if you guys have any videos or any video recommendations that you guys want to see from me let me know i'm more than happy to create content that you guys want to see because at the end of the day like i do this because i love it but i also do it because i want you guys to love it i want you to enjoy the content that i'm putting out into the universe so make sure you're doing that i'm gonna go ahead and contour i'm using the caramel cutie from fenty beauty and just a fluffy brush and not really going od just kind of stippling it on and then just blending it upward but yeah so i'm also starting my workout journey on monday so today is Friday I'm gonna be starting my workout journey which I'm really excited about just getting really fit I don't want to lose any weight and honestly I've been trying to gain weight my whole life and I'll gain like a hundred like okay I the most I've ever gained is probably like five to seven pounds and I was like almost 130 and then I lost it and I went back down to my natural normal above 22 weight it <laughs> just I can't keep weight on my body naturally and I really have a fast metabolism so trying to keep weight on is very very hard but I was like you know what let me just embrace it and accept my body I just really want to focus on getting healthy if you guys haven't seen my last vlog I think I, I think it was I did a juice cleanse and it just made the biggest difference in my energy and my overall mood and I was like I, you know what I need to do like another one um I think I want to do like start doing these like once a month maybe I'm gonna try even if it's not for an entire week I don't think I have built up the stamina or the self discipline to do an entire week of cleansing but I definitely want to do start doing like once a month doing a cleanse and just making sure I'm keeping myself healthy and just trying to get in better shape because it's important and the light is changing so I'm gonna go in with blush and I'm gonna be using the Anastasia blush trio and peachy love I use all of the shades that's just how I like to do it. You could do it however you want, but your girl likes to just mix it all in and then just stipple it onto her cheeks. Like so. And I look crazy right now, but we're gonna blend that out, so don't even trip. Then take a fluffy brush and just blend everything together. Looks good. Then I'm gonna go ahead and set my face. I'm gonna be using the Make It Forever Matte Velvet Setting Powder. And Y455 and just stippling that all over my face. I really don't need to. It's just a habit of just making sure everything is super smooth and flawless. But this foundation literally dried itself down, so I really don't even have to do that. Looking good so far. I want to brighten up my under eye. And by brightening up my under eye, I mean like really brighten it up. Um... So I'm going to use this Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Finishing Powder in the shade number 3. And I'm going to start to push, press that under my eye. And then this is going to help to make everything look smooth as well. And then we're going to bake just a little bit. I don't want my under eyes to look dry, but I do want some of that brightness. off with a fluffy brush and then let that sit for a little bit and I did the lightest layer like we're baking but not really because the lightest layer is just applied and while that's doing its thing I'm gonna move on to eyes and for eyes I'm gonna just be using the same bronzer that we used and a fluffy brush and I'm gonna just go in and apply that bronzer into my crease to kind of give me a little depth a little definition never hurt anybody and I do this, like, it doesn't have to be perfect. I kind of like the messiness of it or, like, the effortless kind of just washing some color over my lid because it just looks a little bit more put together and it helps it look a little bit more natural versus having super, super clean, 
cuts. I mean, if that's the look you're going for, then fine. But for this like everyday go-to type of look, I like it to look a little more, you know, not so uniform. I can't believe that it's already February. Like, Valentine's Day is next week. Like, this time is already just shooting by. January shot by. Like, I think my new year started in February. Like, January, I was still, like, stuck in 2020. And it was, like, my December. January is my December. And February is my January. So, that's my story. I'm sticking to it. <laughs> I just felt like this was very much so, like, me restarting the year like setting it in the right tone do i want to do liner today or do i not want to do liner let's go ahead and dust off this under eye maybe we could do like a really really tiny baby wing to get the best of both worlds because i don't want to put on lashes today i think i just want to do like some mascara i'm gonna just do a glue baby wing a little bigger than I want but it's fine that normally happens with liner so let me do this one without talking so I don't mess up okay we got a baby wing time for some mascara and honestly I haven't been using like I can't even get this open I haven't been using like um, highlighter for some reason. I've just been enjoying like having like a naturally glowy face, like how your makeup wears throughout the day, and you start to get a little glowy and dewy. I've just been enjoying that. I'm gonna use this L'Oreal Voluminous Mascara in Carbon Black, and just hope that this gives me the lash that I want. And if not, then I'll put on lashes. I'll probably put on lashes. Oh, question: Has anybody ever had microblading? And if you have had microblading, how was your experience? Like, what is the pain level on a scale from 1 to 10? 1 being no pain, 10 being the worst pain ever. Okay, got my lash tool. Let's apply these lashes. Now we've got volume. We've got shape. We've got dimension. We've got attitude. I also want to get lash extensions. Like, I don't know. I just... Lately, I haven't been feeling pretty. I think that's what it is. Like, I think that's why I haven't really been posting because it's like, I just haven't been like, you know, sometimes you're like, <sighs> I don't feel cute. So like when you don't feel cute, your energy is a little like, eh. My energy has definitely been a little, eh. So I wanted to do something new. I want to get a peel. I want it. I got a new weave coming. Love that for me. My wig is in the mail. Um, I want to get my nails done. I'm going to do like a, I should do like a whole maintenance situation. Let me know what you guys think about me doing like a maintenance type vlog where I get my, well, I do my own hair. I do my nails, my toes. I'm going to get my eyebrows microbladed. New weave. Wow. She's going to be a brand new girl. She's going to be a brand new chick in these streets. So I got my lashes on and all of that. The last thing we need to do is add some lipstick and pick out an outfit and I'll show you guys that in a sec. I'm gonna go ahead and spray my face with the Morphe setting spray. And yes, I use a lot on Christmas. I need to, I have to. I feel more confident when I use more spray, making sure everything looks, you know, natural and skin-like. And for lips, what are we gonna do for lips? I just got a knock at the door and I got a package from Sephora where I ordered some new lippies, which I've been, I'm really in love with lip products. So I ordered uh, two of the Fenty Cream lip glosses that they just came out with. Um, I'm going to line my lips and then I'll show you guys what color I'm gonna use. I think I'm gonna go in with Cork by MAC first. And let this um, setting spray dry down a little bit. Um, I should have wiped off my lips. Which that might not be long for me. I'm gonna go in with the lighter color first, which is Honey Waffles, and see how I like that. And if I like it, then I'll just leave it. If I don't, then we will add more. 
Ooh. It feels really creamy. And buttery. But it's not sticky at all. Like, it's not too thick. I want to lighten it up just a tad bit, so I'm going to use the KKW Lip Gloss in Nude 1. Let me just mix that with that. Cute. Let's put on some earrings. These earrings are super cute. They're just like these little braided leafy earrings that I got from Forever 21. And I also changed my earrings in my other holes. I got all huggy and they're so cute. So now that we have everything squared away, we have our makeup done, our hair's done, our outfits on, and it's time to discuss all things fragrance and things that smell good and just add that extra boost of confidence, which I have been needing a lot lately so for today's fragrance in partnership with dossier i decided to pick up the fragrance inspired by the joe malone english pear and this is the card that comes with it it just lets you know what the fragrance is inspired by what notes the fragrance has and i think this is really helpful especially if you're just getting into fragrances and you are trying to discover what's your scent or what you like so when you go out to other places and you find a scent that smells good or you're looking for a fragrance you can always refer back to this card and kind of tell them what type of notes you're looking for really really helpful love this and i think this is very very smart it also comes with a little sample size so if you order from dossier and you get the fragrance and you want to test it out before you actually open the full bottle and want to return it they will give you a cute little tiny perfume that you can also keep and put in your purse or stick in your car or you can use it to test out to make sure you like the fragrance before you open it so you can get a free return which this i think is really really helpful because i find that when i'm out and about sometimes i want to refresh and kind of make sure i smell good and kind of just you know freshen up a bit when i go to the restroom or when i'm out and about so this is something that i always keep in my purse i love this and this one is going in my bag because it smells so good when you're using the dossier fragrances don't think that you have to spray half of the bottle in order to smell good all day i literally do two pumps here one on my wrist rub it together and I go on about my day and when I tell you it lasts all day, it lasts all day. And I get tons and tons of compliments, people wanting to know what I'm wearing, people trying to guess what I'm wearing, and they never can because they never guess right. Because it's a dossier. <laughs> Anyway, if you guys are interested in picking up any of the fragrances or checking out the website, it'll be down below in the description box where you guys can click it. You can also use my code J10 to save money off of your purchase if you're looking for gifts for yourself, for your valentine, just to add to your collection. Whatever the case may be, there's a code down below and the link is in the description, so be sure to check it out. Alright guys, that is it for today's vlog style get ready with me. I actually love doing get ready with me's in vlog style form. I just feel like it's a little bit more natural. It's a little bit more relaxed and I enjoy that. Let me know if you guys enjoyed it too. Be sure to check out Dossier. It'll be linked down below in the description box. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. We are on our road to 2K and I can taste it. I can smell it. I hope you guys are having an amazing day or night whenever you're watching this and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!